and welcome to the Mindful Crafts September subscription box kit. This kit is a needle felting kit and we're going to be making a rainbow coloured garland. So in your kit this month you have got a wooden, um, not a wooden, a foam block um, which we felt onto. Um, you've got a felting needle and this is a general purpose felting needle. And if you haven't done felting before, then what happens is, is the, the needle, it's not a sewing needle, but it's got like little gauges. It's got little, they're called barbs. Okay, so if you think of like barbed wire, um, and these barbs, we stab into the wool. The barbs grab the wool fibres and then the more we felt it, then it all begins to stick together, okay? Um, and it's the felting action that will turn this into a solid ball in this case. So yeah, so that's our felting needle. So obviously be very sharp, uh, careful with it because it is sharp. I always say when you're not using it, just stand it up in your foam because you know where it is. It's not going to roll off anywhere. And also it's protecting that needle. The needles are fragile. So I'm going to show you how to use the needle carefully um, so as not to snap it. OK, so just keep your needle in your foam block. Uh, so you've got a selection of various wools in your kit as well. Uh, you've got a wool needle and some neutral thread and that we're going to use to attach the balls together to make the garland at the end. OK, so if you need to go and get yourself everything ready, grab yourself a cup of tea and yeah, we'll make a start. OK, so what I'm going to do is I've just taken sort of a little handful of the the pink wool. Now this is a carded a, a Corridale wool, so it does stick together quite quickly. It's got quite short wool fibres, and it's really easy to work with. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the ball, but it doesn't matter if we make it smaller to begin with because we can always add to it if you want to make it any bigger okay if we start off with a whole clump of wool and start felting it like that we're going to be here for hours okay so i mean you can use your hands to get going but we want to make a, a ball shape so i'm just going to roughly and it, i know it's not a, a perfect sphere or ball at the moment but we want to roughly just get a round shape then with my needle i'm just going to go in and out and it's really relaxing to do it's really therapeutic and I'm going to keep turning this so well I'm going to call it a ball it's not a ball yet but I'm going to call it that because we know what it is we're going to keep turning it because we want it to be round okay if I just sat here and just kept felting that same bit over and over again it would just be, become flat so we don't want that. We want it to have that rounded shape. OK, so as I said about using the needle carefully, when you go in to the wall, you don't want to be going at it like hammer and tongue. You don't want to do it too hard. You just want to go in so it, it kind of goes in and then it kind of finds its own place where it stops. And then the important thing is, is that you bring it out in exactly the same way. Because what will happen is if you go in and you then bend or twist the felting needle, the end will just snap off and it won't, it won't felt. So then you'll have to, you'll find, end up finding yourself um, having to buy more needles. Okay, so it's just, just a bit of a tip, just... Go at the, not not gently, gently, but you want to do it with uh, 
You want to do it with enough force so it's beginning to, you can see it's already beginning to stick together, but you don't want to go too hard. You don't want to be going through to the foam. Okay, now this does take a little while. It's really relaxing. Take your frustrations out on, I don't know, whoever you fancy taking your frustrations out or you get quite mesmerised with it. I would suggest though that if you're doing this that you're not watching a program I don't know like I don't know line of duty where you you need your brain to concentrate this is a this is an activity that you can just you can you can do while you're listening to something listen to music or the TV or whatever and can you say I'm just turning this round all the time okay and it's beginning to shape into a ball, okay? But as I say, it will take a little while. So the idea is you carry on felting until you're happy that you've got a ball shape. And then I'll meet you when you've done the, the first one, okay? Happy stabbing. Okay, so I've I've got my pink into a ball shape now, a sphere. But what you might see is you might see that there are kind of lines where parts of it have, have joined together. Okay, now you can leave it like that, but I don't intend to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get another thin piece of my pink. Just tease it apart carefully. There we go. All right, I'll probably split that into two as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle that, open it with my fingers so that all the fibres are lying in the same direction. Okay, and then if you can see, I'm just basically, I'm just going to wrap it over my ball and gently felt that in, okay. And what that will do is it will get rid rid of all those lumps and bumps. Okay, so go all the way around. See, it doesn't take much, but it just covers it up just enough. Okay, so I'll do. I've done that one way. Okay, and then I'm just going to get another little bit. Again, just tease it apart. I'm going to split that in two. Okay, but you get the idea. Yeah, so we just want to wrap it round. So all the fibres are going the same way. And ooh, you'll get rid of any of the, the lumps and bumps. So that'll take a little bit more felting in. Do that now, and I'll see you when we're done. Okay, so there we go. I've done one ball. Now, I could sit and felt that for hours. Um, the more you felt it, the firmer it will become. And if you do want to make it any bigger, then, as I say, all you need to do is just wrap some more wool around it. Okay. Now, another thing I wanted to show you is if you can see, there's like just a few little holes where the needle's gone in. But if you want to get rid of those, just go in gently from the side. Again, go in one way and come out exactly the same way. But if you go in from the side, then you'll just kind of gently pull those, push those fibres from behind the, the little gap. Okay, just depends how, how particular you want to be. Okay, so I've done one colour. Now... Again, I've done a rainbow for this design. You've got a selection of colours. You can choose whichever ones you want to. You don't have to follow my pattern. But if you make yourself some more balls, and then I'll show you how to join them together. Okay? Enjoy.
Okay, so I've finished <clears throat> felting all my balls. Uh, I'm just going to use these four just to show you how I put it together. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use the wool needle and we're going to use the, the a thread. Simply just thread that through. Okay, and all we're going to do is we're going to decide which order you want them in, if you want them in any particular order. And then I'm just going to wiggle that through and onto the, the thread. And then I'm going to take my next one and I'm going to do exactly the same. Okay, now again, it's entirely up to you how you organise these. You can have them left with a gap in between or you can have them all um, pushed up together. There's no right or wrong. There you go. Might just need a little wiggle to help them get through um, because, well, it, it also depends on how firm you've felted the balls. Um, if it's... If it's really quite firm, then it will be a bit trickier to get them through. And there we go. Okay. And then all I do is just at the end, I make a loop so I can hang my garland up. And yeah, a really simple yet effective um, decoration. Okay. Right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the main project this month if you subscribed to the box then you will have received your bonus like your free gift for this month which is one of the star cutters and what i'm going to show you now is just how to do a flat shape um and then you can make, if you wanted to you can make a star garland uh you know or you could even alternate it with the with the balls and that so Okay, so this is a really quick and easy um, project that you can do. You can use these for so many different activities or, you know, for different purposes. Um, you can, like, as I said, you can make a garland with them or you can use them as Christmas decorations. Um, you know, you could make them really Christmassy and fit in with your decor you could even make one and attach it to a card so it's um makes a nice handmade card but what we're going to do is we're going to just use bits at a time okay so i've only got sort of like a you know just not even a handful um and we're going to felt within the star shape but because we're felting a flat shape what we're going to do is we're going to have to stop and turn it over because otherwise you'll see what will happen. It will just felt into the foam and then you won't be able to get it out. So what you want to do is you want to just really get into all the little corners. Okay. Again, don't felt it too hard because, you know, it's beginning to stick. Now, it's not going to look like a perfect star to begin with, but what you want to do is you want to just lift it over and then put it back into the cutter and keep going. Now, I'm going to add another little bit. So you, you need hardly any of the, um, the wool for this one. But all we're going to do is just keep going. Make sure it's all tucked in right to the corners. Okay. And then I'm going to stop and turn it over. Okay. And again, I'm going to keep going and going until it holds its shape and until it's, you know, quite a bit firmer and flatter. So you just need to carry on felting, turn it over, carry on felting, turn it over until you're happy with the, oh hang on let me just get that back in there, that wasn't quite in, yeah until you're happy with how um, thick 
a star is. Okay, right, if you do that now, and I'll meet you when we're done. Okay, so I continued felting by just turning it over, repeating that, and I've now got a nice little star shape. And again, you can use your wool needle to attach them together if you want to make a garland or if you wanted to make like a little decoration for a Christmas tree, then you can just put um, a little sort of like, um, you know, like a golden or a metallic -y thread to make it nice and Christmassy. You can attach them to cards, you can give them to people just as, as a little something. And um, yeah, I could sit here felting for hours and hours really quite addictive anyway i hope you've enjoyed september's subs subscription box if you like what you've seen please leave a comment or hit like um thumbs up make sure you subscribe to the channel because i'll be adding regular um videos and tutorials and yeah have a lovely weekend and i will see you soon Bye-bye.